Hello, all right. <laughs> I'm still working with Mastodon, and what I'm gonna do in this video now is I'm going to take the sample bot that I made, and instead of just on a timer every 24 hours, every 60 minutes, I happen to post something, I toot, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the streaming API. The streaming API is a way for me to, in real time, listen for events. And the particular kind of events that I'm going to listen for are what's known as user events. So a user event, and we'll see all the different kinds, is any time that I might get a notification or somebody that I follow might post something, or any time that I might get, anyway, there's lots of things that come in user events, and these are the good ones to use, because if you're using your user event as a bot, you're sort of making sure that your bot only engages with people who are opting in, and this is pretty important. You don't want your bot just randomly spamming people and favoriting random things or replying to random people who haven't really asked to engage with your bot. So you're gonna wanna make sure that your bot follows the, the, the code of conduct and the terms of service of bots in space. I'll show you where, where you can find that. But typically, a good way to think about it is just like, if somebody is at mentioning the bot, then you're welcome to reply to them. If somebody follows you, then you're also welcome to engage with that person as, a, as, as the bot programmer. Okay, so let's go over and look at the streaming API. So before I, before I um, start using the streaming API, let me just point out to read the information page with the code of conduct and also the terms of service. If you're choosing to host your bot on botsin.space, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you follow the rules of the space. Okay, now, uh, what I'm going to do is I am gonna start using the streaming API. So the way that I do that, and we can find it here, remember this is the node package that I'm using, mastodon-api, and this is basically what I wanna do. I wanna create a listener, and whenever there is a message, um, I want to take a look at and do stuff, act upon that message. So let's actually do exactly this. I'm gonna keep the error one in here as well. I'm just gonna copy paste this into my um, code. I'm gonna comment out this auto posting thing that I had before about the meaning of life. I'm just gonna put this here. And actually what I wanna do now is I wanna use my little trick. Instead of just console logging the message, if you remember, a little trick that I did in a previous video is I um, used write file. So I wanna write files out so I can look at what kind of messages I'm getting. Um, whoops, ah, where have I gone? Um, and so let me uncomment this out. And I do want to put like a timestamp also here. So it would make sense for me to say like uh, data and then actually, um, the message probably has a timestamp built into it, but I can also, like JavaScript uh, timestamp, I think it's just like new date, uh, get time, yeah. So I can say a uh, new date, get time. I think this is right. So again, you can put with template literals, I can put a whole string to evaluate, a whole line of code to evaluate in essence inside that area. Okay, so let's see if this works. I don't know, what's gonna happen? Uh, oh, well, let me see. Am I in the right place? No. I, sorry, I made a new folder, um, so I'm going to release these examples separately, uh, um, and I'm going to run this bot. And now, okay, so I don't know if it's working because I don't know if I've gotten any notification. Maybe somebody watching this live is going to favorite something or at mention my bot. That would be nice, right? And then something would come in through here. Oh, I did get a message from somebody, but I made some sort of mistake. Data is not defined. Ah, uh, okay, because, uh, oh yes, it's called, the variable name is msg for message, um, which is why I was thinking that, I guess. Um, so it should be uh, msg here. Okay, let's try this again. And actually, I'm just gonna take this out, and I'm just gonna write console.log user event. All right, everybody, are you watching? Are you giving me some user events? Here we go. Waiting for my user events. Okay, I think that was enough user events. Thank you very much. Let's go back and we can see here that I have all of these uh, data.json files for all of these events. So I can kind of click through them and see what kind of events. I'm hoping that the kind people of the internet are not spamming me with horribly thing, horrible things. So the first kind of event we got here is a follow event. So if the event is a notification of type follow, we could act on that. So let's do that. Um, let's say, let's go back to our code, um, and I'm gonna say 
uh, right here, I'm going to not write these out anymore. Um, if, if message dot, what was it again? Uh, message dot event equals notification. And I think there's going to be different kinds of notifications, so I'm going to say then if message dot data dot type follow, then what I want to do is uh, I want to get the user name. So let me get the user name, and that would be uh, where it would be ah, right there. And actually, I want the account. The username is useful, but you always on Mastodon need both the username and the instance, the address of the instance, the host name. So let me grab uh, uh, account equals message dot data dot account. And then the other thing that I'm pretty sure that I need is the ID, maybe. 7670, that's the account ID. This is the, I don't know what, this is the ID of the event, I guess. So I want that account ID. So I'm going to say constant ID equals message.data.id. Oh, dot account. I forgot about account. I'm also message.data.account.id. Dot account, dot account, and then dot account, dot ID. And then I want to send a message. So how do I do that? Just with this nice m.post. So here's the thing. Maybe I want to make this quote unquote toot function a bit more generic. And I'm just going to give it a, a I'm going to pass in a status. So I'm going to get rid of the random number stuff, which was from before. And then um, I'm, I'm going to just put a, uh, is a little confusing, but I'm going to take whatever I pass in, and then uh, and then here is uh, and then I'm going to post that. So now I have a function that I can basically say toot, um, and I can say uh, um, I'm going to use at data dot um, message dot data dot account right at this is me referencing the person that followed me. Uh, you know, thank you for the follow. And I should be, I'll just say choo-choo. Welcome aboard. Oh, that's a train theme. Welcome aboard. Okay, so we can see it'll say welcome aboard. Now here's the thing. Mm. I really should also, if I go back to the API, this one, I should probably say in reply, oh, and that's a reply to the status, because I don't need, it's not in reply to a specific status, so this is actually fine. I think as long as I just at mention then, I'm done. So, um, so let me go, I've lost my code. Let me go back, I think I'm good. So now, I think that I have everything I want. So I am, let me just put the listen on error up here. So I'm listening for a message. If the message is a notification of a follow, then I will, uh, toot back to the person their their account name and say welcome aboard. And let's see how this goes. I look forward to all of you now. You can unfollow and follow if you already followed, but let me run it first. And here we go. Oh, okay. I have a status status. I have a mistake here. So I don't. I I, I I'm gonna just gonna change this variable name to like txt or content. Let me make it content. I don't like having the same name everywhere. It's confusing, but there should be no semicolon after there. Okay, here we go. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Okay, so you can see a bunch came in, and now I can go back here, and I can go to here, and we can see, look at this, these are all the people who have now, and if I click there, we can see where it's, it's showing me and going to these people's accounts. Yay! So we now have a bot that responds to follows. Alka from the chat pointed out something here. What did I do? Oh, the whole point of me making this variable was so that I don't have to write this all out here. I don't know why I did that. So um, I can just do this. This will make it much more readable. I actually don't need the ID, so I can take that out. So this is all I need. So we are done. All right, so this is follow. Now, 
I'm going to show you something in the next video. I think I'm going to take a break. And in the next video, I'm going to look for messages that at mention the bot. And then I'm going to have that bot act on those, either reply to them or favorite or do something like that. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do next.